Bumblebee, Bumblebee, do you know me? Bumblebee, Bumblebee, do you know me? Yellow and green, I wave to the breeze to say that spring is here. I am a daffodil. Butterfly, butterfly, do you know me? Here I stand, tall and straight, while my, while my silky cup catches rain. I am a tulip. June bug, June bug, do you know me? My leaves point like swords, and my petals wave like flags. I am an iris. Cricket, cricket, do you know me? Watch me pop open. See my tiny black seeds. I am a poppy. Ladybug, ladybug, do you know me? My thorns are prickly, but my blossoms are soft. I am a rose. Spider, spider, do you know us? We come in many colors, and we turn our faces to the summer sun. Leaf hopper, leaf hopper, do you know me? You'll find me at breakfast when my blue trumpet greets the day. I am a morning glory. Dragonfly, dragonfly, do you know me? I'm curly and speckled. My, sm my smell is the sweetest of all. I am a lily. Katie did, Katie did. Do you know me? Try and count my petals, if you can. I am a daisy. Little boy, little boy, do you know me? My fuzzy stem grows taller than you. I am big and round. I am a sunflower. Of course I know you, sunflower. I know all the flowers I see. The end. Ruby Lee the Bumblebee Ruby Lee the Bumblebee, the cutest bee you'll ever see. Dressed in stripes of yellow and black, with silvery wings upon her back. Her big bee eyes, so friendly and bright, are framed in long lashes that suit her just right. Her ruby red cheeks are warm and sunny, and her charming smile is as sweet as honey. For her fuzzy body, round as a ball, her dainty wings seem much too small to zip or zoom or fly at all. But that doesn't stop her, no siree. She's a Ruby Lee, the bumblebee, a bee of possibility. Those tiny wings too small for flight, yet she scoots through the air. Oh, what a sight! On warm sunny days, without a doubt, you'll find her in the garden, buzzing about. There, and here, here, and there, making loop the loops around the air. See how she dances from flower to flower? How can it be that she has such power? Those little wings aren't meant to fly, yet she's able to do it. Just how and why? Believe it. Trust it. Know that it's true. An example of this has been given to you. In Ruby Lee the Bumblebee, a bee of possibility. The end. One Hundred Hungry Ants A whole hill of hungry ants, their faces all aglow, came swarming from the forest to cross the field below. 
A soft breeze fanned the sunshine and whisked them on their way. It hinted of yummies for their empty tummies. That means a picnic. Hooray! One hundred ants were singing and marching in a row. We're going to a picnic. A he and a hi de ho. Stop, said the littlest ant. We're moving way too slow. Some food will be long gone unless we hurry up. So, with two lines of fifty, we'd get there soon. I know. All the ants raced here and there, up, down, and to and fro. There'll be lots of yummies for our hungry tummies. A he and a high de ho. One hundred ants were singing and marching in two rows. We are going to a picnic. A he and a high de ho. Stop, yelled the littlest ant. We're moving way too slow. More of the food will be gone unless we hurry up. So, with four lines of twenty-five, we'd get there soon. I know. All the ants raced here and there, up and down and to and fro. We hope there's yummies for our rumbling tummies. A he and a hidey ho. One hundred ants were singing and marching in four rows. We're going to a picnic, a he and a high de ho. Stop, screamed the littlest ant. We're moving way too slow. Lots of food will long be gone unless we hurry up. So, with five, with five lines of twenty, we'd get there soon. I know. All the ants raced here and there, up and down and to and fro. There might be a yummy for a gurgling tummy, a he and a hidey ho. One hundred ants were singing and marching in five rows. We are going to a picnic, a hey and a hidey ho. Stop, screamed the littlest ant. We're moving way too slow. All the food will be gone unless we hurry up. So, with ten lines of ten, we'd get there soon. I know. All the ants raced here and there, up and down and to and fro. There better be yummies for our grumbling tummies. A hey and a hidey ho. One hundred ants were singing and marching in ten rows. At last we're at the picnic. A hey and a hi de ho. Stop, yelled the littlest ant. We've traveled way too slow. There's no food for us to eat. You took so long with the rows. All the ants raced here and there, up and down and to and fro. There aren't any yummies for our growling tummies. A hey and a hi de ho. Oh no! Ninety nine ants were swarming from each and every row in a hot pursuit of one little ant who quickly turned to go. It's not all my fault, you know. The end. Hello, ladybugs. Ladybugs are bugs that fly. Ladybugs live in many places. Sometimes they get into people's houses. Ladybugs have round shells. 
the shells have black or white spots. A ladybug shell covers its wings. The wings come out when the ladybug flies. Ladybugs eat mites and aphids. Some kinds of ladybugs eat plants. Baby ladybugs come from eggs. They look like worms with legs. Then they grow shells. Ladybugs try to find mates. They fly around. Goodbye, ladybugs. The end. The Very Lazy Ladybird This is the story of a very lazy ladybird. She liked to sleep all day and all night. And because she slept all day and all night, this lazy ladybird didn't know how to fly. One day, the lazy ladybird wanted to sleep somewhere else. But what could she do if she couldn't fly? Then... The lazy ladybird had a very good idea. When a kangaroo bounded by, she hopped into her pouch. But then the kangaroo liked to jump. I can't sleep here, cried the lazy ladybird. It's far too bumpy. So when a tiger padded by, she hopped onto its back. But the tiger liked to roar. I can't sleep in here, said the lazy ladybird. It's far too noisy. So when a crocodile swam by, she hopped onto its tail, but the crocodile liked to swish his tail in the water. I can't sleep in here, said the lazy ladybird. I'll fall into the river. So when a monkey swung by, she hopped onto her head, but the monkey liked to swing from branch to branch. I can't sleep in here, said the lazy ladybird. I'm feeling dizzy. So when the bear ambled by, she hopped onto his ear, but the bear liked to scratch. I can't sleep in here, said the lazy ladybird. He'll never sit still. So when the tortoise plodded by, she hopped onto her shell, but the tortoise liked to snooze in the sun. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybird. It's far too hot. So when an elephant trundled by, she hopped onto its trunk. At last, said the lazy ladybird, I've found someone who doesn't jump or roar or swish his tail or scratch or swing or snooze. But at that very moment, the elephant sneezed. Achoo! And the poor old lazy ladybird had to fly at last. The end. Sir Small and the Dragonfly Long, long ago, a tiny knight rode his trusty aunt into the town of Pee-wee. In Pee-wee, the tallest person was no taller than a toothpick. The biggest house was no bigger than a shoebox. This is a town for me, said the tiny knight. I think I will stay here. And so he did. But one day, a dragonfly flew over the town. Run for your lives, called the people of Pee-wee. Lady Tina ran. 
down came the dragonfly. Whoosh! Up went Lady Tina. Help! Help! she shouted. The dragonfly has taken Lady Tina to its cave. Who can save her? asked the king. The butcher said, I am too old. The baker said, I am too fat. The candlestick maker said, I am too scared. I am not scared, said the tiny knight. You? Who are you? asked the king. I am Sir Small. I have my sword. It was the size of a pin. I have my shield. It was no bigger than a penny. And I have my trusty aunt. The king laughed. You are even smaller than we are. I am small, but I am brave, and I will save Lady Tina. Sir Small rode to the cave of the dragonfly. The dragonfly was asleep. Lucky Sir Small. Shh, he said to Lady Tina. Then he cut the ropes, and Lady Tina was free. Come with me, Sir Small told her. Lady Tina got on Sir Small's back. Away they rode. There was no time to lose. Soon the dragonfly woke up. Where was the pretty lady? The dragonfly wanted her back. The dragonfly flew after Sir Small and Lady Tina. It came closer and closer. But Sir Small was not scared. He saw a big spider web. Now he had a plan. Sir Small rode behind the web. Try and get us, he called to the dragonfly. Down came the dragonfly. It flew into the web and was trapped. That was the end of the dragonfly. That night, the people of Peewee had a big party. Lady Tina sat with Sir Small. They were very happy. The king said, here's to Sir Small, the smallest but bravest of all. The end. <laughs>